All right, let's do this, everybody. We got to talk about data frames. In Pandas, a data frame is a tabular data structure with rows and columns. It's two-dimensional, similar to an Excel spreadsheet. Here's a beginner-friendly way in which we can create a data frame. Let's start with a dictionary. We'll say data equals a dictionary. For our data, we'll have some employees. For the key of name, this will be a column. Instead of just having a single value, we'll use a list, a Python list. Here we can list a few different names. I'm going to use SpongeBob characters because most people know who SpongeBob is. We'll have SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. Then we'll add another column. This column will be for the age. How old is each employee? The value will be another Python list. I'm going to say that Spongebob is around 30. Patrick will be 35. Squidward will be 50. And let me just do a little bit of organizing. There, that looks pretty good. Now, we're going to convert our dictionary into a data frame. Here's how. We will assign data frame, but most people shorten this to just df, meaning data frame. Our data frame object equals axis pandas spd call the data frame constructor. Now the D is capital, not lowercase. That's because this is a constructor rather than a function. We're going to pass in our data, our dictionary. And then we will print our data frame, which we have named DF for short. And here's our data frame. It's tabular data. It's made of rows and columns. We're also given an index. This index has a label for each row, starting with zero. But you can set that to be something custom. To do so, when we construct a data frame object, we will set an index by passing in a keyword argument. Index equals a Python list. We'll say employee one, then employee two, then employee three. And we should have some new labels. There we go. Employee one is SpongeBob, age 30. Employee two is Patrick, age 35. Employee three is Squidward, age 50. If you need to select a single row, you can access the lock property. df.lock, subscript operator. Lock means location by label. Give me all the data for employee one. That's the label. We are given SpongeBob, age 30. Here's the label and the data type of this row. It's an object. Let's select employee two. Patrick, age 35. The label is employee two. The data type for this row is an object. And employee three. We have Squidward, age 50. Employee three, data type is an object. Now you can also select by integer location by using the iLock property i lock so the index zero will give you the first row which is again spongebob one is for patrick two is for squidward let's just print the entire data frame now if you need to add a new column here's how i'll just add a comment add a new column and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. To create a new column, we'll access our data frame, use the subscript operator, then we'll need to think of a new column name. Let's say job or position. What does everybody do? We will assign this to be a Python list. The number of values must match the number of rows. We have three rows, one for SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. In that order, what is the job of SpongeBob? He is a cook. That's the first value. Let's say Patrick is a new employee. He doesn't have a position quite yet. For the time being, we'll say NA for not available. And then Squidward is a cashier. Now let's print our data frame. And we should have a new column. Employee 1 is a cook. Employee 2, 
their job is not available yet. And employee three, employee three is a cashier. That's how to make a new column. Now, how do we add a new row? Here's how. Add a new row. An easy way to create a new row is to create a new data frame, then concatenate it. We'll say new underscore row equals access pandas spd called the data frame constructor again. Now we're going to pass in a list. For this list, you can add a dictionary for each new row you want to add. For example, if I need to add three rows, I'll need three dictionaries within this list. But for now, we'll just add one. This dictionary needs key value pairs. For the key of name, we'll add, let's say, Sandy. For the key of age, we'll add a value of 28. Then for the key of job, we'll add a value of, I would say that Sandy is some sort of scientist or engineer, but we'll just say engineer. This is a separate data frame. It only contains a single row, a new record for Sandy. We're going to concatenate it to our existing data frame. We will reassign our data frame, df equals access pandas spd, call the concat function for concatenate. You may see people use append, but that's now depreciated. We'll be using concat for concatenation. We will pass in a Python list then include all of the data frames we want to concatenate. We want to include our existing data frame and the new row. And then let's print our data frame. And we should have a new row. Yes, we have a new row for Sandy. However, we have not set an index. The index was set to zero. Well, we can manually update that. When we create a new data frame, you can pass in an index as a keyword argument. We'll do that for Sandy. So comma, space, and just for readability, I'll put this on a new line. Index equals a Python list with a new label for her of employee four. And here we go. Employee four is Sandy, age 28. Her job is an engineer. Now you can add more than one row. Let's add new rows. This variable will be new rows. So within our list, we can add more than one dictionary. Let's add another row. I'll do some copying and pasting just to save a little bit of time. Copy all the key value pairs and paste it within the new dictionary. Let's say the new employee is Mr. Krabs. His first name is Eugene, Eugene Krabs. He seems like he's about 60. His job is that he is a manager. We'll assign him to be employee five. And then we are adding new rows to our data frame. All right, let's take a look. There they are, we have two new rows. One for Sandy and another for Eugene. Sandy is 28, she's an engineer. Eugene is 60, he's a manager. All right, everybody, those are data frames. Data frames are a tabular data structure. They contain rows and columns. Your homework is in the comment section to post the output of a data frame. Try and think of a unique example if you can. And well, everybody, those are data frames using pandas.